Hello, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a product called Kami in order to have students annotate PDFs and submit those PDFs back to you in a product like Canvas. So first of all, um, we oftentimes have PDFs stored inside of our Google Drive and we'd like to be able to take those PDFs and have students actually interact with them in some way. So here's a PDF here, this Digital Citizenship Pledge. If I double click on it, it opens up inside of the Google Drive Previewer, which looks like this. This should all look pretty familiar. And in this view, we have some options that kids can click and they have an, an open with option. Now I have a lot of different things that I can open with here in my Mac, but students will have a few other options, namely these ones down here um, that can be connected to their Google Drive using a Chromebook. So down at the bottom here, if you keep going way down, there's a connect more apps section. So the first step in having students be able to do this is making sure that they have Kami connected with their Google Drive. So they have the option of opening up PDFs with Kami from their Google Drive. So if you go to that drop down menu, whenever you're looking at a PDF, you can go up to where it says connect more apps and go ahead and click on it. When you click on it, it brings open up something that looks a little bit like the, the Chrome Web Store. And here you can just type in Kami, K-A-M-I, and then push enter. And the one on the top there is the PDF and document markup. So you can connect by clicking connect there. Once you push connect, it'll say that Kami has been connected. And eventually you're going to have to authorize this program when you open up your first PDF using Kami. So that's the first step is making sure that students actually have this, this program connected. The second step then would be able to share your PDF. You want to share your PDF with students so that they can click on it and make a copy of it. So if you right click on a file and you just push the share button, you can do the get shareable link. Go ahead and click on get shareable link and then push copy link. Once you copy that link, you can then head over into Canvas and do an assignment and say something like, uh, please make a copy of this and annotate it using Kami. So I'm gonna highlight the words, this document and push control K. I'll paste my URL in that spot. And then I'll also have it kick out to a new window so that students that receive this document will be able to click on it. And it will also force them to make a copy once they try to open it up in Kami. This is necessary because each student has to have an, their own copy of the PDF in order to actually have individual annotations. If students don't make a copy of the PDF, they will all be annotating the exact same document, which is probably not what people want in most cases. So once I have this as a teacher, I'm gonna use website URL as my uh, submission entry option, and I'll go ahead and push save. Now my um, course or my assignment rather is set up correctly and I have this document available. And I'm going to switch over to a different account where I'm a student and then show what this would look like from the student view. So now I'm a student and as a student I have to go and connect Kami. So I'm going to go ahead in my Google Drive and if I'm not looking at a PDF I can still connect other applications by going up to the settings area and pushing the settings button and then from here I can go into settings. And I have an area that says manage apps. So I can go into manage apps here and I can push connect more apps there. So this is another option for being able to connect applications. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that Kami PDF and markup. And as a student, uh, in my student view here, I already have this particular application connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and push done. Now what I need to do as a student inside of my classroom is I need to go to the assignment that my teacher set up for me. So I click on assignments, and in this case, this particular assignment had Kami in the title, so I'm gonna go ahead and search for that. I'll click on that assignment. And now here it says, please make a copy of this document and annotate using Kami. So now I'm in the student view and I click on this document. I'm not able to annotate it yet because I do have to open this document with Kami. So I'll go ahead and click on open with, and I'll choose Kami as my option. Once the document opens up in Kami, this is where if I hadn't authorized before, I would have to push the authorize button. I'd have to log in with Google Drive. And it's been such a long time, it looks like it's making me do that again. So this is what students will see, especially the first time. So I'll go ahead and push allow, and then it'll take me to that document. 
Now it takes a little while for that document to open up. Okay, so once the document actually opens up for students, um, it looks like I'm able to annotate it. And if I try to go ahead and put a text box in, so I can push add text and try to do that, what it says is that, that this document is owned by the teacher and I'm not able to edit that document unless I make a copy. So if I go ahead now as a student and push create copy, it will open up. I can push authorize Google Drive and this time I have to authorize it in a different way in order to allow it to add a document to my Google Drive. And again, this is really the only time that students will have to do that. And now by doing this, it's going to make a copy of it. Now this particular PDF that I have takes a little bit of time to render. You can see that it was blank for a little bit and now it pops up. Now as a student, I can go ahead and click on this and I do have my own ability to create text boxes and I can type on this PDF. So once I make the appropriate annotations and, and move things around and that kind of thing, I'm able to share this document back to my teacher. So once I'm finished with this process, I can push the share document button and it's going to say to get a link to this, you have to push the upload button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button. This is now uploading it to Kami so that my teacher can read the actual annotations. What happens here then is it shows that um, this document is owned by the student in this case. And then there's a little link at the top here that can be submitted to the teacher in Canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. And again, in this role, I'm a student and I'm going to go over here to my Canvas assignment and push submit. And then I have website URLs and options. So I'm going to go ahead and paste website URL in there and then push submit assignment. Now, once that assignment is submitted, I can see as a student in the submission details area over on the side, what that's actually going to look like. So I can see my link is here. It shows me a preview, but when I click on that link, it actually opens up and renders the Kami document. Over here is a student, and it does take a little bit of time for that this particular one to render because it has that, uh, that picture. And then when I zoom in a little bit, I can see that that annotation is uh, still available. And then as a teacher, I can switch back over to see in SpeedGrader how this went. So when I click on it here in SpeedGrader, it opens up. And then I have my one student who turned it in. I can click on their document. And that document will open up in SpeedGrader. Now again, it takes a little bit of time for that PDF to render, especially one like this that ha is pretty heavy as far as pictures are concerned. So you can see here, it says, here we go, all is well. And then it shows which person was, was editing that. So it made a specific copy uh, for the student. The student was able to take the link, turn it in. I can read through that, even if it were multiple pages, put a score on it in Canvas and be good to go. So again, that's how you, uh, you go through the process of, of having them annotate a PDF. They need to have Kami installed, first of all. They also need to make a copy of any Google Drive PDFs that you have. And then they need to be able to submit a link using Kami, uh, a link to their annotated PDF. And that link uh, to their annotated PDF needs to be turned into Canvas. All right, if you have questions, please let me know. Hopefully this helps you figure out a bit of a workflow for annotating PDFs that you already have.